good, good. Lovely to meet you. I'm a big fan. Thank so. you so much. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> no and the snow. And the snow. Yeah. Perfect London weather for visiting, yeah. right? <laughs> Great. So I really love this film. Thank it's you. It's such a gorgeous film. What I love is what it says about forgiveness, forgiving others and forgiving yourself as well. Absolutely. Was that the aim when you started writing it? Um, the aim was to talk about standing up after grief. I've had a lot of grief in my own life in the last four years, and I've witnessed um, people whom I love who've lost uh, husbands and children, and I, I've just been on the front lines for a lot of intense stuff. And I wanted to talk about how these people and myself stand back up after something horrific has happened, after death, after loss, and how we as human beings strive to, to keep going. And, and, and all the coping mechanisms we deal with. So that was really the, the jumping off point. And I also wanted to write something for Florence Pugh, who I just think is an outstanding actress. Um, so it was kind of the combination of those themes and shaping something for Florence that, that was the catalyst. Amazing. I uh, think the scene that sticks out in my head the most is the train, Minutes train scene about control as well, and control Absolutely. with grief. Yeah. Was that an initial scene that you wrote straight away or? Um, not straight away, but I had a model train set as a child. And I, and I, I you know, all of these, the writing I do, I, I pull from life experiences. And I, my model train set was my favorite thing. It was in the basement of my house, just like Morgan's is. And I, I whenever life felt out of control, I would retreat to this little train set. Mine wasn't nearly as fancy as, as, as Morgan's character. But I got so much pleasure, and it was meditative. I didn't realize at the time, but for a child, for me as a child, it was meditative and and and, and quieting. And so I added that for Morgan's character, who who doesn't have a lot of control and has had a lot of mayhem in his life. Um, and it's where he goes to retreat and and sort of be meditative and create his own sort of world that he can control. I guess in some way, writing this is a way of controlling your own emotions and grief. And Absolutely, writing is 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 definitely therapeutic and um, and cathartic, and um, it's very hard for me to do. It it, it takes a lot of time, but I, I I think particularly when you see the reactions from from people, that's when it feels the most cathartic because there you see that there's a communal reaction to these emotions, and it feels so much uh, uh, like you're not alone because you're you're sharing. People like yourself come forward and say. I felt that too. I responded to that, and, and that's when it's really cathartic, you know. It's an amazing, amazing job. Thank you. Um, and you touched on it before, but developing this character of Alison with Florence Pugh, how was that and working with her on this performance? It, it was wonderful. I, I wrote it for her, and, and, and uh, you know, I was in, we were in lockdown together, um, and, and I, I, I wrote it every day, and she didn't, I didn't show her anything until I was done, or at least had a very solid first draft. And, and she loved it and had some very good insights. And then what was really spectacular is I wanted the character to write two songs. And Florence is a, a, a songwriter. A lot of people don't know that yet, but they're gonna find out. And so she was able to write uh, the, in character the two songs that the character writes. So that was really special. Then we were collaborating in more ways than just director uh, actor, she was a, you know, a writer as well because she was writing the music. Amazing. And I know that's a lot about relationships, especially hers with um, Morgan's character, but I love her relationship with her mother yeah. because her mother has only her own vices and also her only way of helping is to enable yes. Alison's behavior. Which is very common for, for parents and understandable. You don't want your child to go through any pain mm -hmm. and she, she doesn't know how to handle this. She doesn't have the skill set, as, as most don't, unless you've been taught how to, how to help your child with this addiction. So she sees her go through pain and she can't possibly watch her child go through pain, so she, 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 she can't help herself but enable her. And you kind of get a sense before Florence's character was in this uh, state that she was probably being a parent to her, her, her mother, played by Molly Shannon. Mm -hmm. So I think their, their dynamic is really, really wonderful. It really comes through. And then you've got Morgan's character, who I love that he comes in and he's very calm presence, and then he's got this darkness yes. that he's also kept hidden. Yeah. And how is that working with Morgan on that character? Well, fortunately, I had made a film with Morgan before, so I had a little bit of, I had more courage this time. The first time I was just in awe of him, uh, as, as anyone who meets him is. Um, but this time, because the part was so tough, and he really needed to go to a, a challenging, dark place, I, I was so glad I had that previous experience, because we already had a banter, and we had a, 
a way of, of, of interacting that I, had, that I then had more courage to really push him to go further into this pretty dark role. Amazing. Well, it's a beautiful film and some amazing performances, so congratulations. Thank you so much. And thank you for talking with me today. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!